at John Cabot Academy in Bristol, they are part of a group of three schools called the Cabot Learning Federation. But here, they're not afraid of breaking the mold, so they've chosen not to have an individual business manager for each school. When you work in a federation such as we are, it enables you to take a fresh look at how you organise things like finance, human resources, uh, marketing, PR, all of these things. Um, and, and the bottom line is you don't need to replicate it four times. Um, so what I've set about doing is creating a central team of, of, of real quality people who can lead finance, lead HR, lead PR and communications and marketing so that we provide that service for the academies which they buy, buy back from us. So, don't be too impatient with it. I think in terms of personnel, we're probably saving around about £100,000 uh, if, you, if you use that model across three or four schools. Um, I mean, a finance director in an academy, we would probably be looking to pay around about £60,000 a year to, uh, not including the on costs. And so there's 240000 in four schools to start with. And so I, I would say we're easily saving £100,000 on that. You've also got other benefits as well in terms of procurement, for example. The kind of purchases that we do en masse um, multiplied by four schools gives you some real benefits of saving in that way around. And that's a slightly harder one to put a figure on, um, but clearly if you, if you analyse our, our statistics it will show you that that's beginning to benefit. So, welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to do something slightly different today. Um, uh, my name's Chris Baker. I'm the leader of e-learning at John Cabot Academy here in Bristol. And they talked about being able to touch type. Has anyone ever heard of being able to touch type? David's employed me for two days a week next year um, to work as almost like a consultant for the, uh, for the Federation. I'm going to be strongly working with the primary schools that are joining the Federation in terms of helping them to have a web presence and to have a virtual learning environment, but also looking at sharing some of the great stuff that goes on in e-learning around the different academies. In his role as education consultant, Chris is part of the Federation's drive to be enterprising by generating income from elsewhere. We have a, um, a, a trading company that, uh, that we've set up within the Federation that enables staff to speak at conferences, uh, provide services to schools, um, develop software products, um, a, a whole range of things. Um, and this year, as we come towards the close of the financial year, I think we're looking pretty confidently at a surplus of around about £200,000. So I think it's a win-win for both the Federation and schools and our partner schools who are getting the real credibility of practicing teachers providing support for practicing teachers. Uh, my name is Dean Blake. I'm the Director of Communications for the Cabot Learning Federation. The TVs for the workshop? Yeah, phone them this morning. Um, they're fully on board. They'll be arriving just after 7, hopefully. They've got a couple of people coming in. I can generate income uh, for the school and for the Federation because my services are hired out to other schools in the local area. I mean, I have an expertise that they haven't got in that school, so I can offer them a service which um, they can't provide within their own school. So they hire me in on an annual contract um, and I can maximise their publicity as well. Okay. We've got to go into the inclusion room now, just peel off towards the left okay. by here. In the first 18 months of doing this role for John Cabot, I was interested to see how much free advertising I got through uh, publicity. So I took every radio interview that we'd done, uh, TV, paper, and equated to what that would have cost us in free advertising. Um, and I took a sort of a, a, a medium amount of that. I didn't go for the most expensive or the, or the cheapest. But in fact, the amount I came to, and, I, and I've checked this out with a few guys I know in the media, was um, £36,000 in free advertising in 18 months. So no school's got that marketing budget. So that's how you can make press and publicity work for your school. I see no future in 3,500 secondary schools all working independently. I just don't think that over the next 10 years that's viable. Clearly we are about to go through some challenging times with public sector finances being, being vulnerable. Um, and what we've got to do as leaders of schools is to do our level best to make sure that the frontline services that really impact upon children uh, are maintained. And not just maintained, but continue to develop. I think federations, hard and soft, partnerships, trusts, the range of different strategies and structures that are available to schools to work in partnership uh, has to be the way forward. Mm -hmm.